गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज लेट्स टारगेट 120 प्लस सीरीज फॉर प्रीलिम्स यू नो इट इज ऑलवेज सेफ टू स्कोर 100 प्लस इन योर प्रीलिम्स जीएस 1 इन ऑर्डर टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ इन ऑर्डर टू क्रॉस द कट ऑफ यूजुअली द कट ऑफ यू कैन सेट लाइक 100 प्लस डिसेंट कट ऑफ इन प्रीलिम्स जीएस 1 so actually coming to prelims questions every year upsc has 100 fresh questions 100 fresh questions from different subjects history economy geography polity environmental science current affairs some are easy to moderate some are moderate to difficult some are totally alien type of questions but here the challenge is we have to attempt maximum number of questions with accuracy with the intelligent guess and we have to score something 100 plus in prelims gs1 paper your usual tensions are like this yeah there is negative marking when you attempt the mock test there are negative marking okay that is one tension for you how to reduce negative marking alien questions how to approach the alien questions pace issue you are not able to finish 85 90 questions or 95 questions in 120 minutes that's a tension for you sometimes the 50 50 dilemma is the you eliminate two choices now which one you how to pick either this or that can be the answer that kind of a tension you have so different tensions you have please watch our elimination strategy videos please watch our other strategy videos in relation to how to tackle the prelims preparation prelims questions or prelims paper now here some solutions again what all suggested by the toppers i share with you these are the proven strategies for for scoring well in your prelims examination one is simple start simple start means it is not necessary you should start with the first question not necessary you should start with the 50 50th question not necessary you should start with the uh, history or economy or geography or polity see you go for you just uh, scan the 100 questions in the sense that quickly read all the 100 questions in just 5 minutes okay and find out the easier ones find out the easier questions first okay so you start with the simple questions if you start with the difficult question automatically what will have shoot up that uh, multiply distress in the mind okay if the first two five questions you answer it is in the proper ascending order descending order whatever you start from the very first first question gone wrong second is tight third is tight fourth is difficult by the time by then what will happen you know blown up mind is blown up that should not happen so start with the simple questions start with the simple questions okay easy questions which you damn sure 100% you sure about the answer start with the simple one then excitement error sometimes you know when you go for some questions like uh, yeah something which is uh, factual questions conceptual questions or something which is uh, like a one two three questions okay when you read the question when you come to the choice you may feel that the first choice itself is right then all of a sudden because of your excitement you pick in the omr sheet you shade that a is your answer sometimes what happens you know you, you forget to look into the d choice d is all of the above that means a b c you know all are correct all of the above is given that you ignored just because of your excitement on seeing the first choice itself you said that is the answer and you marked in the omr sheet now you are in the trouble so don't 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 allow your excitement make errors that means don't be in excitement don't answer any questions in excitement okay read all the choices at least uh, you know make double sure of the choices read all the choices make sure of the answer then only you attempt then only you answer that eliminate and enter sometimes you know when you when you find some moderate to difficult type of questions elimination will work out you can eliminate one by one some are contrad contradictory choices some are striking similar choices some are like out of the box choices some are eliminated with the keywords some are eliminated with the, like uh, what is called a uh, Uh, totally some uh, com complexities so different eliminations are the eliminate to one by one and then you enter to the right answer then overthinking that's an oops situation you know don't go for overthinking overthinking will not work out here okay overthinking and underthinking both are dangerous just to follow buddha that is you know middle path moderate path you follow don't think beyond that question don't think beyond the choices okay so don't go for overthinking 
and don't apply your random guesses here. Okay, you apply your intelligent guess, what you studied, what you studied, what you learned, based on that you apply your intelligent guess here. So these are some solutions to avoid this kind of the repeated errors, and these are solutions to improve your score here. Let's go for the questions of uh, today's uh, discussion. The first one is, which of the following are correct regarding All India Congress party? So parties, different Congress, sorry, uh, you know, outside Congress, inside Congress, different political parties formed during the national freedom struggle. This is something related to All India Congress Socialist Party. The statement is, first All India Congress Socialist Conference was convened at uh, Karachi by J. Prakash Narayan in 1931. Now the thing is like UPC can change, uh, you know, small, small things from the statement or from the concept and can confuse you. See, this they say that it is in 1931. This is in Karachi by J. Prakash Narayan. This is the uh, first All India Congress Socialist Conference convened at Karachi by J. Prakash Narayan, 1931. So simply looking into the year, you know that this statement is wrong. Because Congress Socialism, Congress Socialist Party, it's a formation. Let's see that... Uh, uh, it is uh, something in 1934. It is in 1934, not in 1931. Okay. Congress Socialist Party was formed against the Indian National Congress disagreement with the socialism. Actually, this is something, you know, the conceptual clarity you must have. Coming to 1930s, two prominent leaders like uh, Subhash Chandra Bose, Jawaharlal Nehru, they represented that uh, socialist wing within the Congress. Okay. They given what is called a socialist orientation to this Congress. So this is an organization, it was formed within the Indian National Congress and these national leaders supported that uh, socialist party also. It is not like they rejected the socialist party. It is with the full support of this uh, uh, Indian National Congress within the organization, there is a socialist wing formed, a right wing formed, which is known as Congress Socialist Party. So it is not against the party, it is not against the party's agendas, let's say, this is, you know, the socialist right wing of this Congress. Let's say it is formed within the party. So there is no any hostility against this Indian National Congress. Let's how. So here, both the statements are wrong only. Delhi is your answer. Let's go further into that. Congress Socialist Party. Yeah, Acharya Narendra Dev was the president of this party. J.P. Narayan was his general secretary. Foundation was in 1934, not in 1931. Then the basic motto or objective was decentralized to socialism. Then the major demands are like this, transfer power to Mars, economic life by state, no discrimination, liquidation of the debts. All these were the major socialist demands of this particular Congress Socialist Party and this was formed within the Congress, okay. Now this type of the questions also UPC asks, you please take care of this type of the questions. Description based questions are there. Sometimes they will give a description on a personality or an, on an event or on, on an organization and they will ask you pick the right one regarding that particular description. Now here, he was the founding member of the Communist Party of India. He started the first socialist weekly title, The Socialist. Gandhi and Lenin, his pamphlet published by him where he makes a comparative study of the approaches of board leaders. Lenin comes out as the better of the two. He was imprisoned for his role in Kanpur Bolshevik conspiracy case. During the general strike of 1928, he was in the forefront of forming a labor union for communists known as this uh, Girni uh, Kamgar Union. He himself edited this Marathi journal Krandi, the official organ of this uh, Girni Kamgar Union. Identify the personality. So here the confusion is, all these personalities are related to Communist Party of India. Okay, they all are related to this Communist Party of India. And sometimes, sometimes, yes, by, by picking, by picking what all these uh, journals they published, what all the books they authored, or what all these uh, uh, writings they authored, based on that you can pick the personality. And this is, you know that if you don't know anything, you might have learned this socialist, that uh, weekly journal, okay, the, the uh, socialist weekly socialist, that socialist was authored by this S.A. Dange, in fact, this personality description is ba it's, it's a purely on as a dangue, okay? He is the personality. <clears throat> okay, he was the founding member of this Communist Party of India and also he was regarded as, you know, as a stalwart of Indian trade union movement.
Now there is a question, consider the following statements with respect to Surajist. There is a question which is related to Surajist. So here you know that before the Congress formation, many organizations were there, many associations were there. And they could not uh, win uh, like this Indian National Congress. They could not uh, spread a pan-India nationalism. Because such associations, their goals, objectives were mostly regional, limited to a particular region only. And uh, conflicting ideologies or maybe lack of uh, national leaderships, many limitations were there. Now coming to there is a Swaraj, Swarajist party or this Khilafat Swarajya party. Three statements are there. Swarajist led by Motilal Nehru in 1924 demanded framing of Indian constitution by Indian constitution assembly. The Belgaum Congress presided over by Siya Das laid the foundation of mutual trust between no changes and the Surajist. Now, the government of India appointed a committee under Sir Alexander Mudiman to enquire into these defects of working of the 1919 Act as a result of the efforts of Surajya party. So, you must know the chronology. This is very important. The chronology of events from history, this is very, very important for you. So here the statement is, first one is, Surajist led by Motilal Nehru 1924 demanded the framing of Indian constitution by Indian constitution assembly. Nothing wrong in that because, because the Surajist party, their demand was like this, they will enter into the legislative council. In the council itself, they will demand for Suraj. They will demand for Suraj. If their Surajist demand is not accepted, then there will be continuous deadlock of these uh, legislative functions, okay. That is a way of, or that is one of the uh, legislative method of this, or maybe that is one of the way of this uh, parliamentary action of this non-cooperation movement. This is one of the non-cooperation method only, they believed. The Belgaum Congress presided by Zia Das. See, you, that, that you should understand that Congress sessions and their presence are important for you. There is Gandhiji. And Gandhiji presided over only a single session, that was Belgao session, Belgao Congress session, okay, where he accepted the bona fide of this uh, Surajist, he accepted this uh, mass support of the Surajist and uh, their sincerity, and uh, he accepted the Surajist will work as the parliamentary wing of the Congress, okay. So, Belgao session is not uh, presided by this uh, uh, Siya Das, it was by Gandhiji only. So, that uh, because of the reason, second is eliminated. The government of India appointed a committee under Sir Alexander Mudiman to enquire into the defects in the working of the Act 1919 as a result of efforts of Surajya party. Uh, that is something true only, okay, because the biggest contribution of the Surajist is obviously, let me tell you, one of the, one of the contributions, yes, it forced this uh, government of India to appoint a committee under Alexander Mudiman to enquire into the defect of working of 1919 Act, okay. So here, let's say, the correct answers or statements are, let's go for 1 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only. So the Surajist, they were called the pro-changes, they wanted to end this boycotting and they wanted to, they wanted to end boycotting, they wanted to enter these legislative councils, okay, they wanted to contest these legislative council elections, they wanted to enter the legislative council. And in the council, they wanted either end or mend the government, okay. Continuously, they will demand for this uh, Suraj or their self-responsible government, okay. Then Motilal Nehru, Siya Das, N.C. Kelke, Rajmal Khan, Vidalbhai Patel, these are some popular, yes, these are some popular pro-changes, pro-changes or Surajist, okay. So, take care of these aspects uh, and try to solve maximum number of questions. Galanda Yes is, uh, uh, yeah, releasing. Regular series, regular answer, regular question solving series every day. Let's the target series we are releasing on every day. Then uh, there is also another series which is called uh, IAS, IPS in second series is there. Let's the score series is there. So all of you watch that uh, series. Uh, in this series we are solving maximum number of the potential questions which will be definitely helpful for your prelims preparation. If you are working aspirants or if you don't have that much time for uh, solving multiple question papers and all, this series will definitely help you to cover a maximum number of potential questions from all subjects, okay. So stay tuned, please do subscribe our channel and uh, please watch this series. Your valuable feedbacks you can leave in the comment box also. That's it, all the best, thank you.